grown in the past. It has been grown sustainably with age-old growing wisdom. Now this is an apple that has been grown in the future. It has been grown efficiently with robotics and automation. In order to move forward in horticulture, we need to integrate the old with the new. I've recently attended the Horticulture Conference in Christchurch. Everyone was talking about sustainability. It's become the in thing. We all want to work toward achieving carbon net zero, and this is being driven by global consumer demand. Now, sustainability might be the in thing, but it isn't a new thing. A century ago, we didn't have chemical pesticides. Our waste was seen as resources, and we weren't reliant on nasty plastic and fossil fuels. Luckily, we've sustained some of the centuries-old wisdom through a weird little thing called organics. Our answer to, to achieving carbon net zero could just be contained in the teachings of those mung bean eating, sandal wearing hippies. <laughs> Organic growers, like myself, live by the principles of healthy soil, healthy plants, and healthy people. Everything is connected, and through these connect con connections, a system can be self supporting and sustainable. For example, Chickens roaming free in an organic apple orchard. The apple trees provide shelter for the chickens. The chickens eat pest insects and fertilize the soil, which in turn nourishes the apple trees. Now I can assure you, I'm not trying to promote Bostock organic chickens and apples here. <laughs> but these days in horticulture, we primarily operate in disconnected monoculture. So how can we continue to produce high yielding crops, keep our labour costs down, and achieve sustainability? Now this is where robotics and automation come in. We can integrate robotic pickers and packers, solar power and electric vehicles, and highly intelligent crop monitoring systems so that we can grow our crops more efficiently. Now I'd like to introduce you to my new term, Roboganics. It's a horticultural system combining robotics with organic growing principles. Robots and hippies are here to lend us a hand to efficiently achieve carbon net zero by 2050. So if we take our age-old organic thinking and marry it up with our high-tech, new-age automation, our sustainable future will be born. Roboganics, our new future and sustainable Water culture.